look over here. <laughs> Welcome to the Cup, the currently unnamed podcast where we put the real and the tea in reality. And you can always come to us first to quench your thirst. And you are watching Look Over Here. Yes. Um, and I'm David Healy. I don't have a cute intro, but I do have a cute shirt. I am still wearing my Octavia shirt. I miss Octavia. RIP. I know. Um, and I'm just drinking some water right now. But I also have a cup mug. And you can also get a cup mug at lanagcreations.etsy.com. We do ship internationally, so there are no excuses. And yes, we are looking at you, Great Britain, UK. We're looking at you. And hola, I am Eduardo, the Mexican representative of this podcast. I'm here to talk shit and get hit. I'm still drinking my water, which is over there. I'm just excited to talk about this. I'm excited to talk about this runway. This was really adorable overall. So, yeah, I'm excited. Yes, I'm excited too. And I'm excited for the people watching to subscribe to this channel. Please do that. Please do us a favor and like this video as well. Please leave comments. Tell us if you agree with our thoughts on these looks. I already know for a fact that um, we have some slight disagreements between the two of us. So Somewhat. those will come up. So we want to know if you disagree with us too. Um, and also share this, this uh, video. We appreciate anything that can help us get more views and more traction. Um, but let's go ahead and get into these looks. So our theme is drag family resemblance. Um, mm. This is a beautiful background, Logan. Great Thank work. You, <laughs> yep. Um, and then up first we have La Voix and Voila. What do you think? I, I mean, I, I, I adore La Voix and I adore Voila as well. I love Richard. I think this look is really successful to me. I've always loved when a queen does something like similar w with like, uh, like theater curtains. I always like when someone does like a look with those mm -hmm. or something similar to that. And normally, I don't like like the texture of velvet. It does something to me like texturally that I just don't <laughs> like. But there's something about this that works as well. Like most of the time when this type of look comes on, I I tend to like it. So for me this is a really successful look. I think the draping is really good. I think it's both looks are just basically the same dress. And so I can't really critique it. There's nothing wrong with this dress. This dress is really good. I like the earrings. I like the hair. I think the makeup on uh, on voila is really successful and doing makeup on older people can be kind of like really complicated sometimes and i think lavoie did a really good job and so i think she looks beautiful this is high up this is high up there for me this i really enjoyed this looks yeah i'm with you i think this is a very good um pairing here um sometimes when people just go for identical looks in a makeover uh, I'm like, uh, is it, I want to see some creativity here, but I don't really mind it with this look. Um, I like going for the monochromatic for the most part with the red. And then we have nice pops of gold for the, this, the little drawstrings for the curtains. So that, that was a nice touch. Um, I just think it's very chic and classy and I like the theming behind it. So that was very smart. It's very on brown brand for uh, Lavoie. So I like it. Yeah. Scores. 90. Ooh, um, I gave her a 77. Wow. But it's a good 77. Wow. Hey, that's wow. higher than the score I gave RuPaul this week. That's fair. That's mm -hmm. fair. You know what? That's fair. Mm -hmm. And also, let's remember, like, my... 90s is like your 80s yes and pretty much so it's like you gave it my 87 so it's exactly <laughs> next we have marmalade and just jam i i mean i mean come on now i mean <laughs> this was my favorite look of the night uh this just gave me clueless it gave me heathers and it gave me a lot of fashion it, i saw a lot of references to chanel and like the 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 kind of silhouette or fabric chanel o'connor 
no, no, she's gone. <laughs> but you, we, you can see her and hear her sometimes in this podcast because we sometimes use her voice. <laughs> uh, but this reminds me of Chanel, the like you know clothing brand, <laughs> and so it just looks so, it's so like fashion ready. It's like, it's like if I was seeing this at Paris Fashion Week, I would not be surprised. The makeup I adore. I adore this makeup of the yellow and the like pinkish purple. Everything about this is really good. Really good, really well made. I adore everything about this. And Just Jam looks amazing. Like, she looks great. I love it. I love this look. This is great. Yeah, this was also my favorite. Um, I thought they both looked really good. Uh, and this is how you can do, like, matching looks, but just change the color a little bit. Mm -hmm. And it still works. Like, these two colors go so well together. Um, and they give you that kind of jam and marmalade um, illusion there. Um, plus the, the matching makeup I thought was really cool. Cause you don't usually see like yellow blush like this. So I thought that looked really great on marmalade. I like the pearls. Um, I also really like that. She let her mother have one last moment. She's like, go do your thing alone. Now I thought that was adorable. So yes. yeah, for me, definitely a worthy winning look mm -hmm. scores. 95. Um, 88. Okay. okay, next up we have we have Chara T and Mama T. It is in these moments in which I am glad that Eris is not here to watch me critique Chara. Uh, I will say, I think Mama T looks beautiful. I think her makeup is great. I think this hair is great. When she first tried it on, I was like, oh, I don't know about this one. But then Mama Mama T got the side bang instead of the middle part. And I think that was the correct choice. I mm. think Mama T looks better with the side part. Uh, however, like this, this is just not my type of look, unfortunately, for Chara. This is just not for me. Like this style of dress is not really for me it's kind of baby doll dress-esque it has more of like a it does have a little bit more of a silhouette or like a like it shows a little bit more body than like a baby doll dress but like it's still in that like world and so i'm not a huge fan of it and the colors are fine it's very candy-esque like it looks like candy but like I don't know. I'm not like a huge fan of it. Like there's, it's not bad. It's still an overall cute look, but it's just that I, it's just not like a hundred percent there for me. Like there's just some little tiny things that I personally, am not a huge fan of that I would change, but you know, that's just my taste and not everyone's going to agree with me. And that's absolutely fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see what you're saying. I do think it's a cute look, and I feel like it still is very on brand for Charity, so mm -hmm. I like that aspect. Um, for me, I this comes down to personal preference, but um, something about like this red and this pink, I don't like them together. <laughs> like uh, there, there are certain color combinations that just don't work for my personal preference, and this is one of them. And Usually I would say, oh yeah, I like that they each have like inverted colors in certain areas. I actually think I would like this a lot better if if Mama T was all pink, if Charity was all red, instead of having the mix there, because then it's just giving me this, this kind of clashing color. Well, it clashes for me at least. Um, so I think I would have liked it if they had gone fully monochromatic, um, just with one solid color um yeah. but i still i still don't hate this look I, I think it it still works for her um just i would have made some minor adjustments okay scores 78 i gave her 72 next we have kyron thrax and rubella this stupid bitch <laughs> This stupid bitch. We also forgot to mention, like, baby Benjamin, <laughs> who was also walking down the runway. I thought that 
Baby Ben Benjamin was the one that stole the show personally, if you ask me. Uh, no, but seriously, I this felt very Kyren. Like when this walked out, I was like, of course, duh. This is like exactly what I should have been expecting. And I really enjoy it. However, I will say, I, I was expecting a reveal the entire time. Like I was fully expecting them to take off the the bins and for them to come out and, because you can tell that there's like a dress underneath mm. it or like a bodysuit underneath it. And I was expecting it to come out at some point and it never did, which like, you know, I don't mind. I already like these looks as they are. I just like the fact that I was seeing that there was something underneath kind of, it made me expect something that was not going to happen. So that was like my slightest issue. This gave me a little bit of blue balls, which is not the first time that Karen has given me blue balls. Uh, but I still think this is a really successful look. I think it's very Karen. It's still cute. It's still fun. It's it's really good. It's good. It's up there for me, but it's just the fact that it did give me blue balls a little bit. <laughs> That's fair. I. I actually never expected there to be a reveal. I think it's just because of um, the structure of the bins. I was like, there's no easy way to get out of those. So I just couldn't picture them uh, having well, any sort of reveal. We saw a reveal in Thailand where someone had a very similar structured outfit and they still revealed. Mm. That's true. That's true. Um, but yeah, I really like this. This was in my top two of the week. Um, I think it's very on brand for Kyren, very campy. I really like this color combination, this blue and this kind of lime green. And that's why I, I actually do like that. They did the inverted colors with switching up the wigs. Um, and they each have a little bit of each other's colors with the gloves too. Um, so I thought this was adorable and having the baby in between, that was just like the icing on, on top of it all. Uh, their makeup is so good. Like Rubella, that is a beat face. That looks like a real drag queen face. So yes. I was very impressed with the makeup skills here. Um, but yeah, overall, really enjoyed everything they brought to this. Mm -hmm. Scores. 85. 87. Next up, we have Lil and Lola Buzzcock. Living out loud. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> I I enjoy these looks. The, this is up there for me. This is my top three. I really enjoy these looks. And normally I would critique it for the quote unquote new delusion, but I I don't think it's going for new delusion. So that's why it doesn't really bother me. Uh because like if it really was going for new delusion. There would be tattoos on it, right? So, like, this is clearly not going for that. And I think this is just giving me showgirl. And as I've said time and time again, showgirl is one of my favorite aesthetics or, like, one of my favorite, like, types of glamour that you can show me on the runway. And this is giving me just that. I like the silhouette. I just like the, the fake tattoos that were put on Lola. I like this hair. There's something about the texture of this hair that I kind of enjoy. And I also enjoy like the feathers and everything. It's just everything that I want out of like a showgirl look. And it's like the fact that there's tattoos in it, like really adds something to it and it adds some dynamics to it. And I really enjoy it. I also really enjoy the makeup. I enjoy that they're both crying a little bit. So it's I, I enjoy it. I like it. This is this is up there for me. Personally, I really enjoy this. Mm -hmm. I like this too. But the things that I'm not crazy about um, are so necessary for it to be like the specific storyline that they're going with here. Because this is kind of like the edgy, like tattooed showgirls uh, that you can tell, like maybe this is not their, their thing. Uh, so I... Like the the wigs, for example, that was a thing that I was not crazy about because they're just so stringy looking. But mm -hmm. I feel like that just fit with the characterization they were going for. So mm -hmm. I couldn't be too mad at it. Um, the only thing that I will like say that I didn't love and they could have done something better was kind of the panty part because it just looked like panties there. I wanted a little bit something extra. It just felt a little bit un incomplete 
when I looked down there, but they really sold the story of this. I think this was the best presentation of anybody um, tonight. Uh, yeah. So I really like this. This was also in my top three by a hair mm -hmm. scores. I I would have put uh, a stoned vagina on the panties. Might as well, right? Yeah, exactly. Uh, 88. Uh, 78. And last we have Relisa Lisa and Jalisa Lisa. Lord have mercy. Okay. Uh, I will say, I like these hairs. Like this hair, I really, really enjoy going for like the Coke rollers mm -hmm. i like this idea like it's very referential to gaga and i will always like appreciate that and i don't know if gaga was the first one to do it so like i've seen it several times and i always enjoy it uh and you know Relisa is not a sewer she's never been really well known for being like a costume maker so for making this in like two days i think she did a really good job this is like a very simple outfit overall like these dresses are not something like super glamorous or super grand or anything uh but they are successful good dresses that we have seen been done before like this does look very similar to the dress that uh raja o'hara made in one minute so mm -hmm. that is not my favorite thing but you know this is still like it's successful for like having done this in two days right and especially because knowing that release is not like super great at sewing uh my biggest critique is actually with releases feather boa or like whatever it's not feathers first of all uh, but her boa is too small like it felt like it was old and stringy and falling apart and so i was just like i just wanted like a bigger boa instead of this like line of fabric fake feathers i don't know uh but from the neck up incredible beautiful love it from the neck down it's fine yeah i'm with you i do think the highlight here is the coke can rollers um i thought that was cute i feel like i've seen um her use something similar on her instagram i can't remember for sure i've seen a lot of drag looks but um, the colors go well, like the red and the blue. I think they work really well together. Um, but my my issue is that there is a simplicity that's a bit glaring and it's understandable. Like, I think it's impressive just knowing how limited she was with time. Um, but there's a ceiling to how much I can like this. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I... And I kind of don't mind the small boa. Like, I, I wish it was a little bit bigger, but I think having the boa here and then her sister has, like, the full boa or, like, feathered jacket, I thought that was a good touch. But, yeah, maybe she could have had some more volume to her boa. But yeah. overall, they were fine. <laughs> they were fine, but they were my least favorite. So, fair. Scores? 80. Um, I gave them a 68. Fair. Yep. Well, that does it for the looks. Um, a good episode and mostly good looks. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Thank you all for watching. We appreciate having you here. Please do us a favor while you're here. You can um, subscribe to this channel, like this video, leave comments, uh, share this video with your friends, and while you're here, you can also follow us on social media. Our Twitters have been scrolling below, which I don't know about Eduardo, but that's also my blue sky. It is. It's so okay. something. Yes. And I have my Instagram here. Um, but you can also um, check out the description to find uh, links to audio podcasts, if that's how you prefer to listen. We also have Patreon link. We could use uh, Patreon subscribers if you're interested in that. Um, and there's also a link to get some merch at lawnagecreations.etsy.com. Um, yeah, we have all sorts of merch there, so you should go check it out. But with that said, we are going to get out of here. So cheers. Cheers. <laughs>